Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am filming in a new location. So this is Vippy's house. And the reason I'm filming here today is because I want to do a little bit of a different video. And obviously you guys are gonna know what the video is about because you already saw the title. But basically, I'm gonna show you guys how to make your own distressed t-shirts or sweaters. For this video, I'm gonna be doing it with a sweater, but you could do the same exact method for a t-shirt. And I actually got inspired to do this video because in my foundation routine, I was wearing this t-shirt, which is just super distressed. And of course, we all know this is like really trendy right now. So I'm gonna show you guys how to create your own because sometimes finding stuff like this can be hard. And this one, just for anyone wondering, is from M. But without any more to say, let's get straight into it. Okay guys, so before before we get started, I know my nails are ratchet, excuse my life, but we're going to need two things. So for the sweater, since it's a little bit of a thicker material, we're going to have to use a good pair of scissors. If you have scissors that are meant for clothing, that would be awesome. I don't, so we're going to use this. Hopefully it works. And then we're going to use a sweater or t-shirt of your choice. So this one I got from H&M, it's really cheap, $14.99, I got an extra large because I like my sweaters to be huge on me and this is from the guys section just a heads up and they have so many colors i love these sweaters they're super comfortable and they last forever and all that good stuff so now that we have the sweater and the scissors you can also use um a razor to get small rips and actually that would be really good on t-shirts as well but if you guys want to see an actual diy for a t-shirt let me know and i can make me make a small video on that but we're gonna get started so what we're gonna do is take the sharp Part, oh, whoops. <laughs> what we're gonna do is take the sharp part of the scissors and then we're just gonna go ahead, choose a spot, and we're gonna start carving. And you have to really tug on it, obviously, because this is a sweater. And you can, to be honest, just go and create a hole and do it too, but I feel like this looks more naturally distressed, so I like doing it this way. And there you go, you have uh, the first hole and then you want to just tug it, don't actually put your fingers in it, just kind of tug it on your own just like so, so it looks a little bit naturally tugged, whereas if you put your fingers in it, it's just going to create a hole. So now that we did that, we're just going to create bigger holes, smaller holes, you could really just customize it as per your wish. And I like to do a lot on the shoulder just because I find that it's kind of nice when your shoulder showed off a little bit. So. We're just gonna go ahead and keep doing that. But you don't wanna always make like big holes just because, actually, you know what? You can do whatever you want. You can do whatever you want. But I'm gonna make a couple of big holes and then a couple of tiny holes. I hope you guys can see, obviously not because my fingers are in there, so. So for the tiny holes, once it gets a little stretched out, you can just leave it at that and then just stretch it. I hope they can see it. I'm sorry if I've been blocking it. I hope you guys can see. So just by scraping it, you could get really small holes like that one as well. So there is kind of like one patch. So now we're going to move on to the bottom. You could even slit this open if you want, like the sides, because obviously that's really trendy as well. I'm not going to do that just because this sweater is super oversized and I'd rather it just kind of be oversized instead of being oversized and having the slit. But we're going to go ahead and I think a really good spot to do it is kind of like in the corners as well well and don't forget that when you do this you want to make sure you're scraping in different directions because if you just do everything one way it's gonna look very um it's gonna look very like forced if that makes sense and not look as naturally distressed so i like to do diagonals and i like to do kind of like straight lines and you always want to tug the material as i'm doing it just helps it rip a little bit easier well, there we go and i'm going to keep doing this on this corner i feel like i want to do like a bigger patch and here i'm going to do a smaller patch but once i'm done the whole front i'll be right back now we're going to do the hand you have to remember when you're doing the hand this is only going to be the front so if you want you could definitely rip that but i wanted to kind of go along the shoulder down like that so what we're going to go ahead and do is put our hand inside and just 
flatten that out. And I'm not going to make it even on both hands again as well. If you do iron this before you do it, it makes it a little bit easy because you naturally have that line. So you're able to tell where the shoulder part is. So I want it to be right on the shoulder area. So I'm just going to go ahead and just like rub it up. I notice the ribs kind of come nicer when we go on a diagonal like I'm just going to do the same exact thing but do random spots and I'll show you guys how it looks at the end. So I did most of the sweater. I'm going to show you guys that in just a second. But another little trick that I realized would look kind of nice is just like scratching the top. Like just like a little bit. Not really creating holes but just giving it that little bit of a tear. If that, if you, I hope you can see it but... Just a little sum sum and that way you can get like really tiny holes like the ones right there over here if you guys can see that hopefully yeah like that and then there's like little like streaks too without actually having to create it and now I'm going to show you guys the front so so far for the front we have a bunch of holes. I went kind of crazy at the bottom, obviously, because that's just going to be where my pants are. Okay, guys, so here we have it, the overall final product. Another thing I did was, I didn't show you guys, but you know how I made this, like, random scratches there? I just kind of did that throughout the sweater, too, in random spots, just because this is so plain, and I didn't want to put, like, rips in here. So let me go try it out. Okay, guys, so here is the finished sweater. So as you guys can see, I have a bunch of distress right here. Here, here and this is how the sleeves turned out and this one I did a little bit less I didn't show you guys the back but I did that as well and you guys can see over here and that's all so that was it I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please make sure to click that thumbs up button maybe even share it and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys I was wearing Thank you. Thank you, Belle. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Let me come close. <laughs> this is so ugly. <laughs> okay, guys. I just want to... Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm okay. <laughs> I want to tell you guys something. Uh, let me come over here. I want to tell you something. Okay, never mind.